And so the term integrated control was developed to talk about this integration of chemical and biological control. Each apple grower has to be very knowledgeable about the entire pest complex and about all the different tools that are available for controlling pests and then make decisions based upon the information that they find in their own orchard. The norm probably used to be spray, you get that sprayer out every 10 to 14 days whether you need it or not. You didn't know if you needed it or not because there was no way to monitor particularly the insects. And it's comforting to have a test like this. They're a trap that you can go to and, you know, say, hey, this stuff, you know, I don't need to. Uh, gives you a little sense of comfort. It's to be sensitive to the environment and to cut down the use or utilization of chemicals in the environment. And that means not only it's better probably for the land and the water, the groundwater, but it's certainly cheaper and it gets to be an economic issue. Old fashioned methods, whereas you went out and controlled, you sprayed, used a pesticide, whether or not the insect was present or the disease was present. Now we know the biology of the insect, we know the development of the disease, we can determine whether we have to do anything or not. We're substituting management for pesticides. And we have a lot of wildlife on the farm. We're kind of proud of that, even though sometimes they cause problems, that we have a huge diversity of wildlife on the farm, um, which tells us that we have a healthy place for animals to live and we don't want to um, impact them unnecessarily. Mm -hmm.